Anti-coup protesters gather in front of the Indonesian embassy in Yangon, calling for regional involvement as tensions grow across Myanmar. This as the military-appointed foreign minister visited Bangkok for crisis talks, meeting his Thai and Indonesian counterparts, as well as Thailand's prime minister, Prayut Chan-o-cha. That's all part of stepped-up efforts by the regional group of nations called ASEAN to find a way out of the crisis following the February 1st coup. As a Myanmar citizen, I'd like to urge ASEAN countries not to recognize the coup government. If they do recognize it, the dignity of ASEAN will be eroded. ASEAN is reported to be planning to send officials to monitor a new Myanmar election promised by the generals. But the protesters are urging ASEAN to recognize the November polling that put their deposed leaders, including Aung San Suu Kyi, in office. One group earlier organized a protest at the Bangkok Indonesian embassy, calling on ASEAN to get more involved. We asked the ASEAN, ASEAN uh, member country to choose the side between the military junta, which is oppressed the Myanmar people right now, or choose the side of the people, which is trying to protest as much as they can to let the world know that we won't be and the rule of the military again. This is not the first time the junta has reached out to Thailand since the coup. About a week after the takeover, Myanmar's military leader, Min Aung Lang, sent a letter to the Thai prime minister asking for help on the democratic process. Prayut chan a former military chief, also rose to power by overthrowing a democratically elected government in 2014. He stayed in office after a 2019 election. Political rivals called it badly flawed. So while the protesters are maintaining their pace of protests and strikes, they are also stepping up pressure on regional players to engage with the crisis. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.